What is up Stackin' Ohana, this is Aloha Stacker and welcome back to the channel and another video and in today's video we have a whole bunch of silver pickups this week that I can't wait to show off. But before we get to any of the silver, we're going to go ahead and talk about a couple little things first. First, our friend Dissonant and Aggressor and Bricktown Silver have been doing uh, collections for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital for Children. And uh, I got my letter in the mail today, and as Bricktown knows and Dissident Aggressor both know, that every time I get a letter in the mail, I donate $20 to the cause. So I wanted to make sure that uh, they were aware that I got another one in the mail, and, and because of that, I will be donating another $20 to the cause. And I want to thank everybody in the community who has reached out and actually helped with, the, with these donations, because people have been sending cash money to Bricktown Silver and donating a whole bunch. So thank you all very much for that. Uh, that is super awesome. There's a whole bunch of channels doing this. Uh, thank you all. I've been doing this for a long time. We've actually been donating for years, my wife and I. So every time, every time I get a letter in the mail, I send them 20 bucks and I do it online. I don't, I don't send it in manually though. I don't send cash. I don't send check. I just go online and I do it. And I, and I really, and I think it's for a good cause. So I'm really happy that I do it. And I wanted to share that all with you because I know they were doing it. And, uh, I think that's pretty cool, but moving on, we've got a couple pieces of channel mail today. And the first one is from our friend mailman AG and check out that sticker. That is cool. I love that pony express messenger. And it says number 14 of 50, Aloha, wow, free gold. Thanks, my friend. Could have used that Raptor in my neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the Raptor is gone. It has been sold. I no longer own any vehicles, believe it or not. And uh, and you're welcome for the free gold. Uh, that was the uh, premier prize of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway a couple, few weeks ago. And uh, Mailman AG won. So congratulations to you, my friend. Thank you for the wonderful sticker. And you sent me a really nice note. It says, hey, Aloha, your channel is awesome and so are you. The generosity of you and this community is beyond, is above reproach. Enclose a little swag, a paracord survival keychain, and P38 can opener that I made. Cord is about four feet because you never know when, when it will come in handy. Mailman AG. So let me show you all that. This is really cool. So he sent it in this nice little package. And he sent me this really cool clip with some paracord, four feet, all tied up and a really cool can opener. Check this out. It's a U.S. Shelby company and it's a can opener. So right here, you can see that. So it actually opens up and you can open cans. So I mean, I got a cool can opener on that. So that's gonna go in my survival pack uh, and I'll keep it and I'll cherish it always. Thank you very much, Mailman AG. That is such an awesome gift. Now moving on to the next uh, one more piece of channel mail that I have before we get to the silver. And this is from our friend, Miss Canadian Scrapper. And I, and I got sent two stickers. So very cool. And there'll be links to these their channels in the description. Uh, this really cool keychain. So I got this cool Canadian keychain with a moose on it. So very cool. I love it. Thank you very much. Actually, let me go ahead and put one of your stickers here. And we'll put uh, Mailman AG sticker here as well. So what we'll do is we'll kind of do that so you guys can be seen through the video. But I also was sent a couple coins. So let's see what I was sent. All right, the first one is here. Let's go ahead and do a zoom. We've got a Elizabeth II Canada, and this is 25 cents Canada, 1867 to 2017. And it looks like we've got some type of sea turtle. It looks like it's some type of sea turtle and bird on the same uh, coin. I don't know this coin very well. I'll have to do some research on it, but thank you very much. That's really cool. I'm fairly certain it's just a clad coin. Um, I sent another one. There's two coins. There's another one, and that's the, and then the other side. Oh, this one's got some color on it, so how cool is this? Look at this. So Canada 25 cents, 2011. As it looks like a sunrise with a bird. So I will go ahead and do some research on these coins, find out what they are, and hopefully get some minages, and I'll put it in the description. But thank you very much, very cool coins. I don't think they're, I don't, I don't know if they're silver. I don't know what, what kind of coins they are. They're probably clad coins, but that's cool. They're still awesome. I love them because I collect all types of coins. So thank you very much for that. I'm moving on. So, the next coin I have, and starting with the the main event, well, I actually got a bunch of coins today because we're going to be talking about uh, we're going to talk about some Infinity QE. We're going to be talking about the Black Flag series, the Allegory series, and then some other really cool Canadian coins that I was able to acquire during this week. But I'm going to show you this coin because I think you guys are going to love it. So let's go zoom in, check that out. Infinity QE five ounce round, absolutely stunning. All seeing eye, the awakening. It says, you can't wake a person who is pretending to be asleep. And it's got 1776 in Roman numerals, the all-seeing eye, Anuit Copus, Coptus. It's four nines fine silver. It's five troy ounces. It's 2021. It's an absolute gorgeous coin. 
and there's only 2,000 of these minted, and I got number 1970. And this is a beauty. So I have some, I have a really cool thing to read about this coin. So what I will do is I will get to it. This is called the Awakening. <clears throat> it's the 2021 Infinity 5 ounce silver round. This is brand new. It's a brand new series. It is the first in a series. The Awakening is breaking the scene at a very timely period in world history. The Awakening series is introduced as presenting various themes and concepts that directly target the corruption and thievery brain conducted by governments, financial institutions, and deep state organizations that repeatedly strip the common man of true, true individual liberty. Bold, where I bought this from, is pleased with the inaugural release, the Awakening 2021 Infinity 5-ounce Silver Round. And I can't wait to see it. And just like then, I cannot wait to see what rounds are coming in the future after this one. So this is Infinity. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Infinity side of the coin. The obverse introduces the featured theme of the inaugural series, the Infinity. The iconic image of a snake consuming its own tail is presented in the shape of the mathematical symbol of, for infinity. The background is actually highly significant to the theme as well. The design depicts the elements found on the U.S. paper dollar. The decorative frame, which normally features a previous president's former or pre president's prom, <laughs> a previous president's portrait, is predominantly depicted, yet without a president's portrait. In the place is the word infinity arched at the top. Also within the dollar bill image is the designation the United States of America. Below the snake's infinity image is displayed the abbreviation QE, which stands for quantitative easing. The reverse will be common in this series, featuring a very intriguing and enlightening design. The awakening begins with a large image of an eye opening symbolic of the collective public awakening to evil and corruption. You will recognize the design being based on the elements of the eye of the pyramid of the U.S. dollar bill. The stone base of the pyramid is separated from the eye. Filling the gap is a Latin inscription, 1776, year of the Second Continental Congress, declaring its independence from Great Britain. A banner inscribed with Enuit Coptus is draped over the stones. These elements were inspired by the original U.S. seal of 1776. Also inscribed on the stones are the specs Four nines fine silver, five troy ounce, and the year 2021 year of release. Further inscriptions encircling the rim include the awakening at the top. You can't wake a person who is pretending to be asleep at the bottom. There's only 2,000 of these coins minted. As you know, I showed I had uh, serial number 1970, so I got almost at the very end of the series. So it's a very, very cool coin. So now, the quantitative easing. Let's talk about the quantitative easing on this side of the coin. A simple view of the concept involved in the QE central banking monetary policy is their attempt to stimulate artificially the country's economy that has suffered a downturn. They do so by purchasing government bonds and other forms of financial assets from financial institutions and commercial banks. In order to pay for these purchases, the central bank issues the order for the Treasury Department to print the required paper money that is then delivered to the banks and other institutions involved in the transactions. This increases the physical availability of cash that is necessary to stimulate artificially consumer borrowing at relatively low interest rates. Consumers then use their borrowed money to make larger purchases, often at higher prices, thus stimulating the economy. Each link in this complicated chain of events is necessary to achieve any semblance of a positive effect upon a sagging economy. Otherwise, the attempt at artificial economic stimulation can and has ultimately result in worsening conditions. So that is what quantitative easing, easing is. And this is the coin, and this is absolutely the round, and it is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to see what comes out next in this series. I hope you liked it. Uh, I don't know if I believe it's sold out. I don't know if there are any available still. Uh, I looked on bold, uh, bold, I could not find it. So I believe it is sold out, but that is an absolute beauty. So let me go ahead and zoom out real fast. And we'll go ahead and set that coin into a nice location to be viewed for the rest of the video. And next, we are going to go ahead and move on to the Black Flag series. Now, as you know, the third in the series came out. There's been lots of videos on it, but I have every coin in the series. So I'm pretty excited to show them off one at a time, uh, give a quick description of each one, and then we'll move on to the next set of coins. Now, many of you already have this series or enjoy the series as much as I do. Uh, I know we're not so fond of the third in the series, but we'll get to that and we'll talk about that in a second. But the first one we have here is the Royal Fortune. I'm sorry, no, that's not the first one in the series. The first one in the series is this one, the Queen Anne. The Queen Anne's Revenge. And this is the Black Flag series. It's one ounce, four nines fine silver. Uh, it's from Tuvalu and it was dated 2019. Now, this is one of the most informous and revered pirates of all time was Blackbeard who is said to have captured more than 40 merchant ships and has led 300 men at the height of his career. His ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, is still known today as one of the most notorious vessels of its time. This release was highly sought after and sold out. Yeah, this, this one was very popular. It sold out very fast. I didn't get it when it first came out. I ended up having getting it on the secondary market, and I paid 
I paid for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to pay a pretty penny for this one. The only one out of the three that I ended up paying to pay a lot for. Now, these only had a mintage of 15,000 each, so I have got one of them. I only have one of each of these series. I never went crazy and bought a whole bunch because this one is more of a collector item for me, so I wanted to have one of each. So moving on, I'll go ahead and set that down. Now we can move on to our friends at the Royal Fortune. So this is the second release in the series. This is a 2020 release, Tuvalu, and the Royal Fortune. Captain Bartholomew Roberts is considered one of the most successful pirates of all time, Black Bart, as he's more famously known. Holds a record for most ships successfully plundered by a pirate in history. In 1720, he won a French vessel somewhere off the coast of Newfoundland and named it Royal Fortune. He commanded his crew of 157 men to mount the ship with 42 cannons, making it more than ready to fight against any Royal Navy ship. The infamy of the Royal Fortune finally ended in February 1722 when Black Bart was killed in battle. This second uh, on the release sold out quickly to, invest to investors and collectors alike. And this one is also sold out, and I also own it, and it is another beautiful, beautiful representation. I love how they do the ships on this coin. Uh, so the first two in the series were really unique, or were very similar, where they focused heavily on the ship. I like the Skull Islands in the back, or the Skull Islands in the back here, and the Skull here. So, so far, both of the coins in the series had a, were very similar, and they look like they belong together. Now let's get to the third in the series. That came out this year in 2021, and that is the Red Flag Fleet. So Black Flag Ching Shi. One ounce, four nines fine, and this is the 2021 edition of the series. And this one's a little bit different. The ships are smaller, they're farther back in the background, and they focus on the pirate Ching Shi. So the third release features Ching Shi, the most well-known female pirate in history. The Red Flag Fleet Ching Shi had a reputation as a shrewd businesswoman, and she met and married the Red Flag Fleet commander, Cheng Ai. In 1807, when Cheng won, Cheng I, I guess, died, Cheng I Sao became known as Ching Shi, or Cheng's Widow, a name that would become synonymous in history with the mighty Red Flag Fleet. At the height of her career, she oversaw between 50,000 and 70,000 men. So I guess I get that. Big leader, big fleet of ships, uh, probably one of the biggest pirates ever, period. But I still don't like what they did with the coin. And then my personal opinion is it's not a bad looking coin. Now, if this coin was independent on its own in its own little world, it would be a nice coin and it'd be fine. But because the other two in the series featured their ships specifically and didn't feature the pirates directly that, that they represented, they, I think they should have followed along. And if they wanted to put her on the ship or her in there, that would have been fine, I think. I think it would have been fine, but I think they should have, I should have been focused on the size of the ships, uh, focused on that first, and maybe had her maybe stand. I don't know. I don't know. They didn't put the pirates in the other one, so why this one? I don't know. It's weird to me. Uh, it seems like they were trying to maybe have an agenda on this one. I don't know. It just seems like that. But anyway, it's still a nice coin overall. The coin itself is fine. I just don't think it fits with the series and the way the other two coins looked. This is a sealed Atmex and TEP. So uh, this is my first one like that. I, in fact, when I bought this, I didn't even realize it wasn't TEP. I thought it was going to come just like the other ones. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I kind of like it in the TEP. That means I don't have to mess with it, and it's good to go for the foreseeable future. So that's it. That is the complete series so far that I have of the the, <clears throat> the Black Flag series. So that is very cool. So moving on, we're going to talk about some allegories now because that's another series that I was able to complete. So the thing about the allegories is, is that, so, well, it's not complete because I have the first three coins and, and the fourth one is actually coming soon. So with the, so with the uh, Germania series, these are all allegories. And so the first one in the series, what we have is we have this one, which is Britannia. This is Britannia and Germania. Germania. And this is the allegories. It's the first in the series. It's a very beautiful coin. This is done by the Germania Mint. And the Germania Mint puts together some absolute gorgeous coins. I mean, they have some great detail. Look at that. Look at the detail on the back of this. And this came out in 2019. And it's, got, and it's worth five marks. If that's worth any actual money, I don't think. But uh, not anymore. But it's absolutely gorgeous coin. Very well. Uh, just absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Great design. Great strike. Uh, just a beautiful coin. Now, they only made 25000 in each of these in the one ounce edition. They make two ounce, five ounce, and ten ounce as well with much lower mintages, but I have one of each of the one ounce. And this is the first one in the series. And this one I got from, I believe I got this from Silver Bean Counter. And when Silver Bean Counter actually sent it to me, uh, he forgot to send this the certificate of authenticity. Each one comes with a certificate of authenticity, which tells you uh, how much is minted 25,000 pieces, and then some specific specifications on the coin. And he wrote me a note. He said, hi, Aloha, I forgot to include this. So he actually sent me a letter in the mail uh, like a week later uh, with that on it <laughs> because I didn't even realize that he didn't send that until I was actually looking at the other ones. And I went, oh, you know what? Where's the... He never sent those. 
I didn't even say anything. He realized it and sent it to me. So I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, thank you very much. And so each one of them comes with these certificates of authenticity. So in the first in the series, we have Britannia, Germania. The second in the series is Colombia, for the, representing the United States of America and Germania. And this one also came out in 2019. So the first two came out in 2019. It has the gorgeous backing. I'll read that in a second. I have some information about that. That's, that's pretty neat. And this one has its same certificate of authenticity, same 25,000 mintage, limited. And uh, basically they look the same other than the, uh, just, then, just the only difference is the coin. And then the newest one, which is the one that uh, everybody's been getting recently, is Italia and Germania. And this is the newest one. This is the one, it says 2020 on it, but it is the newest one. I believe we pre-ordered this at the end of last year, and uh, so I've only recently received it. I'm glad to have it. This is a beautiful design. I really like the one, the way this one looks. This one's different, though, because it doesn't have the flags like the other two did. So the other two, the Britannia, has the, is holding the British symbol flag. And because if you look at Britannia, she's holding, well, she's not holding a flag, but she's got the British uh, emblem on her shield. And, and on Colombia, she's holding the American flag. But for Italia, it looks a little bit different. I'm not really sure what uh, this one. This was maybe this is the Italian uh, emblem. I'll read it in a second. And it got, looks like she got some grapes and something there. So there is something representing. It looks like a cornucopia right there. So that's pretty cool. So another beautiful coin, and it also comes with its own certificate of authenticity. So it's very nice. Oh, let me grab this. Same mintage, twenty-five thousand. And the cool thing about these coins is I already know what the next one in the series is. The next one in the series is actually Austria. So it's going to be Austrian and and Germania. So that's pretty cool. So the coat of arms on the back is the same on every single coin, and it displays the Germania's mint's interpretation of what would best represent the moral principles and noble values of the historic land of Germania. Germania as such never became a country with its own coat of arms. The design is both highly representative of these values and absolutely gorgeous. So quoting from the mint's own descriptive text, the crown shield has been divided into four parts from which each a traditional meaning precisely defined by heraldry, heraldry. In the top left corner of the crest is the Germania mints Bicephalus Eagle, a Roman mythology symbol associated with Janus, the god of all origins, guardian of doors, gates, passages, and bridges, a patron of contracts and alliances. Heads facing the opposite symbolize the past and the future. Right upper corner is decorated with a check pattern that refers to wisdom and prudence. Every good sovereign should be distinguished by these character traits. On the left, both corner of the shield, there are three flowers and a gold ribbon. They hide three values determining strong and independent nation, unity, integrity, and freedom. On the right bottom corner of the crest, a wild boar appears, a very popular and respectful animal in the Roman Empire, which is a symbol of mightiness and power. A fine be beaded border it tightly encircles the rim, and the background has a very nicely textured pattern. Inscriptions include Germania and 2019 or 2020 and five mark. So those are beautiful, beautiful. The, the emblem is beautiful, but it's the same on all three coins except for the year, and then each one has their own independent uh, women on the front. So it's very cool coins. Let me go ahead and get these set in their locations, and then we'll move on to the very last coin coins that I'm going to show off today. Now, I was able to acquire the next set of coins from our friend Silver Switcher 76 who sent me this awesome sticker. So he's an Instagram seller, so I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, to his channel and he's uh and he's got good deals he's got good deals so uh give him a give him a check out when you can but what did i get from him well i got this right here this is a five dollar canadian coin for 2017 and it is the 150th anniversary of the voyager series coin well it's, actually that's not true it's not 150 of anniversary oh it actually is it says, it says uh uh, but but the coins, the original coins with the Voyager came out in 1935, so it's not quite that old, but the 150th anniversary, I'm guessing, of the Voyager symbol itself. But I'll read it in a second. But this is the coin. It's absolutely beautiful. And I actually ended up getting five of these. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of these beautiful Voyager coins. Check these out. So he, was, so he had these for sale. I said, hey, you know what? I really like the Voyager symbol. It's one of my favorites when it comes to Canadian uh, coinage. So I picked it up. But let me go ahead and read a little bit about the coin itself. So that way we can all learn together some uh, specifications on the coin. So this is a recreation of the classic 1935 silver dollar design. Individual coins were shipped. Oh, never mind about that. Uh, it only had a limited mintage of 250,000 for this release. It's one troy ounce of four nines fine silver in beautiful uncirculated condition. It has $5.00. Uh, by the Canadian government. Queen Elizabeth is on the obverse. Voyager's, Voyager design of fur traders is on the reverse. Let me go ahead and break this out so you, we can all see it much clearer. There we go. 
So in 1935, the Royal Canadian Mint released its first ever silver dollar coin into circulation. It was done in honor of King George V's Silver Jubilee as King of England. George V was the grandson of Queen Victoria and would only serve on the throne for another year after his Silver Jubilee before his death in 1936. The Voyager coin honors not just King George V, but also features a design that honors the very founding economic roots of Canada. The fur trade between First Nations tribes and European explorers led to an increased interest in the vast natural resources of North American continent as a whole, including Canada. On the reverse of the 2017 one ounce silver Voyager anniversary coin, you'll find a Voyager design from the first ever silver dollar beautifully recreated. It depicts a European trader paddling a canoe downstream as a First Nation tribal member serves as his guide in the bow of the boat. The obverse of the, uh, is the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II. Her Majesty's effigy has appeared on British and Commonwealth coinage since her ascension to the throne, and this particular design is a result of the work of Susanna Blunt in 2003. Each 2017 one ounce silver Voyager 150th anniversary coin listed here is in BU condition. And they're all produced by the Royal Canadian Mint, which was founded in 1908 in Ottawa, the federal capital. Today, the RCM has the second facility it uses in the city of Winnipeg. So that is the coin. So very beautiful. Very, very beautiful coin. I love the design. Let me see, let's see if we can show off another one. I mean, they're all the same coin, but they're absolutely gorgeous. So I love Canadian coinage. Canada has some of the most awesome and beautiful coins. Uh, that I've that I've ever seen. You know, they make they make some of the most beautiful designs that you can imagine. I mean, they just have animal. I mean, I wish you know, I wish you know, our U.S. Mint would do something similar to that. You know, they don't. I wish they would. Uh, Perth Mint, Canadian Mint, British Mints, the Royal the Royal Mint. They all make so many really cool coins. The U.S. Mint seems to stick to a lot of. Uh, I don't know the commemoratives. They have their commemorative series, but everything else seems pretty plain. They don't do anything else that seems all that exciting. But anyway. That's all I got for you today, everybody. That's a lot of coins to show off. I got a ton of silver here. I even busted out my Fafnirs just to show them off just because I was talking about Germania Mint. So check that out. I got my dual capsule Fafnirs. I've got actually eight of these still. I was able to trade away two. I've got six more I can trade away. So if you're interested in a double capsule Fafnir with two Fafnirs, let me know. I'll beat anybody's prices. Or if you want to trade for something, let me know. Other than that, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a great Sunday and a great week ahead. Join me tomorrow on Monday where we're going to go after, uh, we're going to talk about some shipwreck silver from the Gersopa. And I'll talk about that shipwreck and the silver that was in it. And uh, that should be really fun and exciting. So join me on Monday. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all on Monday. Aloha and mahalo.